flares over the ball. One disappointing aspect perhaps of this World Cup so far, we've not seen many goals from free kicks, but there we did. Expected very much to be one of the stars of this uh, competition, Enzo Francescoli coming forward. The uh, box is Berglin who nods it away. And, uh, his opening five minutes. The goalkeeper's rarely troubled apart from that one shot. From Lerby. That ball given away in a dangerous position to Laudrup, who was very quickly to latch on to through to Francesco Lee. I think he's going to let them down this competition, and it's a shame because if he does, it's, it's going to be kind of such an attractive team. Really put it on the plate for Pedro Nelja. So what a magnificent scoring record he's got. And that's encouraging for Scotland. There you see the scoreline, and uh, always invaluable to get an early goal in these World Cup matches, and the early one here has gone to Denmark. Anderson won't keep that, but a little low cross to Francesco Lee. And, uh, keep possession this time though, there's tactics now, whether they can change them at all. Uruguay against Wales at Wrexham and I had the feeling when I saw him that time that he might be a defender who could run into trouble here in Mexico with referees I wouldn't like to walk into a dark alley in a dark night John. Elkiar back at the defence again Laudrup is in the middle but this time Bergren Giving it for Frank Arneson. And so much movement off the ball by the Danish players. Out on that uh, left hand side, Morten Olsen has made a run. Look how the Danish players are in that picture there. There are six of them. Now Lurby. Who canter forward. And such roll down. And Anderson. The Adrup's taken up an intelligent position inside him. Bertelsen, Bergren's making a dash towards the penalty area. Instead, Lerby has it once more. John, because there's no doubt at all in my mind that Denmark should have had a penalty there. Though. If not the first test, then certainly the second. And recently, I must say that uh, I thought he was a very likely candidate for a red card out here. He took a player out and becomes the third player dismissed in this World Cup following Sweeney of Canada and sadly of course England's... And Arneson chooses to play it square to Lerby. The only danger the Danes have got is themselves. That they've gone just a little bit slack, a little bit casual and I hope it doesn't creep into very much more into the game. up to 25 minutes gone as Berggren just outside the Uruguayan penalty area finds Laudrup now out to Arneson this looks dangerous again and Elkia this is Nielsen Lerby Uruguay must feel it's uh, critical for Scotland going a long way himself here. No loud ball. I think it's the, the best football we've seen anywhere in, uh, in the competition so far. A reminder that Uruguay are down to 10 men with their captain Miguel Bosio still louder. And even now he's managed to get the ball back for Lerby who really cracked that one in. Uruguay. Challenged by Nielsen, ball won by Nielsen, and now Laudrup. Lerby, LKR, raiding down his right hand side, but he won't keep that one in play. They are a goal down. It would be really disastrous for them if they were. And 
they've lost out here and there are several Danes coming forward as Lerby skips past the challenge of Acevedo but then doesn't deliver a very good pass but Anthony, there's no sense in protesting to them they should get, get on with the game they're down to 10 men if they don't behave themselves they'll be down to less than that very much a Dane uh, of course as all go who plays his football in Brazil we've not seen much of him so far but I can tell you he's a very exciting player when he does get moving from Madrid John and uh, he looks he looks a good player up front he's confident on the ball he's prepared to go okay. through to Thrills Rasmussen so seven minutes before half time Denmark won Uruguay nil on the edge so due to retire by the way after this World Cup Mort Nelson to run his sports goods business and it's rumoured he might well assist Sepiont and makes a good catch but you wouldn't exactly use the phrase safe, phrase safe as houses about the Danish keeper no I must admit John he, he doesn't stand an awful lot of confidence in his colleagues there uh, could be problems here if the Danes support Lerby quickly enough Arneson has certainly come up with him Elkiar now and he's going to get past Acevedo oh the cross comes in and it's 2-0 Soren Lerby is the man who tucks the ball away they break like lightning and that showed that Elkiar isn't just a goal scorer it's the perfect cross the perfect finish. It was a really marvellous goal, John, because Lerby picked up the ball in his own half, ran with it, waited for the sport to come, played it in front of Beltjar and then went, went on his way into the middle. It was astonishing, there was only the two of them up there and they were against four defenders. What a lovely goal. Well, there's no doubt about that. At the moment, the game has gone just a little bit easy for them, John, and I think that's... So Denmark have that uh, free kick of the first half left and the Danish supporters swaying from side to side on the opposite side of the street in the Uruguayan side because he's blonde unlike he'd certainly like to have been a fly on the wall in the dressing rooms Morten Olsen here the captain for Denmark and out on this left hand side Henrik Andersen a great run here again by Lerby to where against these lightning Danish attacks the defence and Lerby again makes good ground confronted by Diogo switches play out to that too just covered him all the way though the Uruguay appearing here in their first World Cup finals since 1974 and of course won the World Cup twice a good record and my coach are going to go into the net the overhead kick was by Diogo but Rasmussen really looks hapless in that uh, Danish goal we've got to now watch Laudrup it's Laudrup against Saralegi and uh, he's going to have to come all the way back after all that that was a very late whistle the referee is still standing almost on Rasmussen's toes Mr free kick on the line of Samendi the cross in the Uruguayan defence a bit at sixes and sevens there Lerby nicely done again so skillful these players here's Lerby socks rolled down louder up seems to ghost past defenders as though they don't exist this is going to be one of the goals of the tournament in the tournament you just wonder if he might just decide to bring another player on in place I can tell you that Uruguay are considering bringing a player on Jose, look at the ball in the second half. Maldrick this time leaving it for Lerby. He's had a very good game, sort of Lerby. Maldrick once more. It's probably think that uh, Maldrick won't be 22 until next week and has already won 32 caps for his country. It's a walking pace. Is it action that the scoreline is Denmark 3, Uruguay 1? Coming up to 58 minutes gone. Derby characteristically breaking and making a good 20-yard 
And one would look at our well, has to wait and see what those substitutions might do for Uruguay, Billy. It's certainly a positive move, bringing two players off and putting... I also hope the Danes are safe. Roundup, Lerby, and well have produced a goal. Still early in the second half. Stockily built round, Victor Hugo Diogo, and he's here now, trying to work away inside the penalty area. He's brought down on the edge of it by Nielsen. So it's something of a treat for us to have had four here in Neza today. Lerby, one of the goal scorers for Denmark here. And he's found Laudrup. Laudrup once more. And to nudge it onto Arneson. Cervedo is the defender marking. Lerby couldn't find Laudrup. Uh, and Mort Olsen so confident when he uh, I'm sure you can imagine the Danish supporters are rather happy with it it's a marvellous start for them here in Mexico and the songs have started we are red, we are white we are Danish dynamite I'm going to ask you, Billy, that, but uh, really is marvellous to admire these Danes here, and they are really tearing forward here. Arneson is out on this left-hand side, has received the pass, chipped it back into the middle for Uruguay 1. Delightful football again, and Laudrup is making a charge down the middle. He'll be offside, though. Lerby delivered the pass just a fraction too late with interest and Mort Nelson now at the age of 36 Lerby scorer of the second goal and that time it doesn't quite here's Gas Silva who's been as good as anyone for Euro without Guayan did the double for Liverpool as he was when he was with Ajax now here's Lerby I've got past Bergeron there hasn't got much to aim at in the penalty area but Ramos has done well here and uh, the ball might just fall for but it really has been a red and white tide eight minutes left and uh, such is the day I think they might well celebrate into the night here as just about everybody seems to do in Mexico I don't think anybody ever gets to bed before about three o'clock in the morning. And Eight, one. Seven minutes left here in Neza. Quite a memorable performance by the Dogs. It's also, let us remind you, tremendously heartening news for Scotland this. We play Uruguay in the final game of the group. And if they beat Uruguay as the Danes are doing here, well, there's still hope. Ruby. And here's the hat-trick man. They've continued to play an open, attractive game and it's been very entertaining for everyone. Except if you're Uruguayan, I suppose. I think even the West Germans will be quaking a little at the sight of Denmark playing as fluently as this. I think them in their last game. And uh, is this a sixth one, though? No. A shot uh, clear of West Germany, who, need we remind you, beat Scotland 2 1 earlier today in Carretero. And look at that for a ball out there. And Frank Garnison is sprinting away, and he's inside the area. Well, he's just outside the area, I should say. Again, he did that uh, little snatch back in England as much as we have here in uh, Mexico. And it's been a real treat. There's the scoreline Denmark 6, Uruguay 1. Let's try and get something here. Francesco Denmark. The referee's arm is raised. It signifies the end of a quite superb Denmark performance.